Hi, in this video I show you how to draw fur of a Maine Coon cat. It's a part of a drawing lesson inside of my drawing school animal art club. It's a real-time uh, snippet out of this tutorial. So enjoy watching and learning. So let's use the ivory again and let's map in here additional clumps additional strokes of fur so let's go in with a lighter color again mapping in some ivory if you want to create some thicker strands of fur here then use more pressure again and go over it and over it again repeat that to draw one stroke over the other and if you want um, if you only want to refine here and to to draw some fine lines here in to to create a more detailed fur structure here to, to add lots of fine fluffy hair in the lighter color then use again very low pressure move your pencil here in, um, in a quick motion and let uh, uh, turn your pencil while you are drawing here those hairs, those fur hairs, let them cross and let them here go outside into the background. So I move the pencil in this very, um, yes, very quick motion here, scratching over the paper using less pressure again I move my hand from my wrist here so I draw the strokes here only moving the hand from the wrist and yes scratch with the tip of the pastel pencil over the surface over the paper Here we had to, we have to add some more of those lighter clumps and also here we have to, to refine here the whole structure. So let's work on this part now. Let's use black for the darker parts here. Let's map in a little bit of black here. Here we can map in a little bit of black and also dark brown. So let's use the walnut brown. Map in a little bit walnut brown too. Blend it together a little bit with the finger. Here we can also map in and plot in some more walnut brown pigment. Let's plot in here walnut brown with very fine thin strokes let's add a little bit of walnut brown fine fluffy hairs here so when I have the walnut brown in my hand I go here over the whole part and add some some fine details in walnut brown you don't have to do that yet mm, yes it's a 
only my method when I have the brown in the head and I see here is something to add and to to refine and to correct then I do that uh, at once so that I don't forget it afterwards or so on so I don't keep it for later so I do it as once uh, so yes I have corrected it and can can work then here okay then let's use a yellow again the yellow ochre the vanilla color I would map in here let's draw some more of those clumps here So let's draw here some curvy lines. Draw your lines here with some some curves here. They are not straight. So let this this clumps of fur here overlap the other fur here we have created before. So try to create here depth and contrast so that you let overlap your head your fur clumps here and add shadow here on uh, the layers that are below those clumps. So let's add here black as a shadow, blend this black a little bit so we can uh, create the illusion that this clump um, overlaps the other fur and, and is in front of us here. Make sure that always uh, the beginning of the clumps here where the hairs are growing out, the hairline here is darker, that you add here shadows, that you create the colors here darker, use black or brown or something dark, so to create that depth, to create contrast. Otherwise, your portrait would look flat, and so it really, so you can really create a 3D effect and let's pop up those clumps of fur that are here in front of us, and yes, let them here go over the other layers over the fur you have created before. I'm using the ivory again, so I really work a lot here with the ivory. I love that color here, the yellowy, creamy ivory. It's a beautiful color here for this main cone. We can also add a little bit of the, the flesh. The flesh is an, a really fabulous color for creating fur. It's Yes, it's a little bit pinky, orangey pinky. I love it to add here. Very, very often I use the flesh colors for animal portraits, the skin colors. When you have the Dervet pastel pencils, there is an amazing saffron. It's a little bit more orangey, not so pinky. It's also an amazing color, the saffron. Yeah, 
Yes, so let's add some details here, some hairs, some strokes with the skin color. So we now have to refine the complete portrait uh, with some different colors and yes, let's add lots of details finally. And then when we have finished the fur, we add at the end of the whiskers then. Yes, let's use a knife and let's refine the first structure here. So it's really important that you take here some time, so take you finally, when you're coming to the end, uh, some time to create and to add details, to refine the whole portrait. Are there things missing? Can I add something? Can I improve something? Can I add some details again? So. Have a look over the whole portrait and add details. Here I would go in a little bit with, with a brown 280 burnt amber for example and add and add another different layer of color. So add your strokes with burnt amber. Also here. Let's darken this part of the fur a little bit with burnt amber. So bringing lots of different colors here in this fluffy fur here that makes the portrait really interesting. So here we have to add another strand, a darker strand here. It's So I will add here one more darker color so you don't have to copy exactly the reference photo so my strands here uh, aren't uh, exactly the same as the reference photo I um, draw them sim not similar but in a yes in a similar way not exactly the same so use the reference the fur on the reference photo as an orientation but Create your own fur. Try to draw your own clumps of fur. Don't you? Don't. Don't uh, concentrate on copying exactly the fur structure. That's not necessary. So the fur is not fixed with glue or something else. There can be a wind or a, 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 a yes, a motion of the the animal and the clumps will lie in another in, in another position so it's uh, that doesn't matter if you draw the clumps a little bit different on your portrait important important is that you use contrast and correct lights and shades and so on that you can achieve uh, this realistic look so let's add here again a little bit of, of black and create this darker clump here. So so this black clump here I think is a little bit too uh, a little bit too much on the right side, but that doesn't matter. So, you, um, yes, it's not necessary to copy exactly the reference photo. Try to bring in your own style and your own technique a little bit, experiment a little bit. Let's use some white. Let's add some white as highlights. A 
Let's add some single white hairs here, crossing. Let's play around a little bit and add details, refine the whole first structure. Here we also can add some details. Let's use the ivory again. We can also bring in some darker flesh color, a little bit like the cinnamon, for example. Here on the brown, we can add a little bit of the cinnamon, 189. Here I'm drawing in little wavy lines, so they are really... And they are wavy, they have curves, they are not straight. You can also bring in a little bit of the burnt sienna, for example, using very light pressure. Bring in a little bit of the middle brown. Yes. Then let's add some black details again. So let's go over the portrait here once more and create more fluffy fur. Here we can add some black hairs. So go over. Let's scratch your black pencil over the surface very very gently and add some single black hairs here add some really fine black strokes so they look like as uh, there lay <laughs> little hairs real hairs on the paper this one is a real hair from my cat I think <laughs> okay So let's add here some shadow again and some black strokes going into the clumps. Using the paper stamp here once more to blend a little bit of those shadows. And then I uh, use the here I'm using the ivory again and add again a layer of ivory single hairs.
Okay, so I hope this insight into one of my drawing lessons was helpful for you. If you wish to see more, I encourage you to join the waitlist for Animal Art Club and be informed when the doors will open again. And I also have a gift for you, a free beginner's guide. It will help you to have all important things in place. If you would like to start drawing with pastel pencils, you can download the free PDF in the link below in the description. And now I wish you a great day and see you soon.